So, last time we went to the Mirage Arena and beat some stuff, and now we're actually continuing with the main story of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. We're off to the Radiant Garden, combat level 4, because apparently creepy old Grandpa Xehanort is like, Ah, you should go there, because, uh, Venetus will probably be there, and we're okay with your trust, Ruby. So, yeah, here we are. We're off to Radiant Garden, which is what will eventually turn into Hollow Bastion. Fun times. Hey. It's not Roxas. It's Scrooge! Unversed. Yes, we know what they are. Mr. Zaynor was right. Not necessarily. There are unversed in lots of worlds. That doesn't mean Venetus himself is here. Take out all of the unversed. So as soon as we step foot in the world, we immediately have a battle to do. Wonderful. Well, this is why I brought along Magnera. Wait for the Fundaga to charge up. Boom. And eat my Minecraft mod. So as you can see, Crawling Fire can hit enemies more than, more than once, which is pretty nice. I'm just blue. Oh no, not these guys. Oh wait, but I have Magnera again. I'm gonna... These hourglass guys are really annoying too, because they can just freeze time. Come on, finish him off. Here we go. Zero Gravera is nice to have. Not as nice as Magnera, though. My Minecraft mod you are no match for! Yes! And our Ignite level's up. Oh, that's creepy. Why did you send me here if you were going here? doing here? Maybe he found something out. Maybe he's responsible. And here we are in the Radiant Garden. It's beautiful. Although that castle is still structurally unstable. Even when it's not partially destroyed. Alright. I still want Magnera and Fundaga in my deck because they're both really, really good. We have all of the shot locks to max level. I like Sonic Shadow the best, so we're keeping that equipped. Sometimes default is the way to go. Oh boy, a potion. Why do we still... Why are we finding a chest of a potion in it this late? Potions are kind of useless at this point of the game. Oh boy, a high potion! Hooray! Alright, well, we gotta follow Master Xehanort into town. <laughs> Why can't Doggone it, I not you. To remember this address exactly. He forgets where he lives, and yet he's supposed to be, like, the best wizard of all time. Excuse me, Your Holiness. Huh? I believe you dropped this book. Yeah! Did I? It's the best world. Oh, uh, I'm very sad to say this isn't one of mine, but what a remarkable book it is. This unassuming volume seems to have the unusual effect of awakening one's innermost abilities. A book that makes people stronger? Really? If it's alright, Your Elderness, might I have a closer look? The name is Merlin. I'm a powerful wizard, and I'll have you know a lot of wisdom comes with age. You couldn't remember where you lived. Anyway, as I said, the book is not mine, but I'd be happy to keep it here for you. Thank you, Merlin. We get to do push-ups with Winnie the Pooh, and that's how we become stronger, I guess. What do, you, what do you have to say? I must be more popular than I thought! So many guests, and all on the same day! 
Okay, interesting. Let's take a look in a book. Winnie the Pooh. He's like, wow, I remember this book from when I was a kid. We unlocked the command board for the Hundred Acre Wood. Yeah, there's actually no Hundred Acre Wood world or mini games in it. It's just one of the command boards that you can unlock. But hey, that's useful to have. We can take advantage of that. And a shimmering crystal. Those are always nice to have. We need more magic boosts. Well, that's not nothing. But first... Kaplawi! It's the map of Radiant Garden. Thankfully, we get that at the beginning of the world. And the Moogle Shop here is going to sell us a bunch of really nice stuff. Just behold. Look at it. Isn't it magnificent what we can buy here? Alright, now we got 19,000. So what do we want? So we have two Magneras. Ooh, that's actually... I didn't realize that. Uh, I would like another zero gravity. I think that would be nice. Uh, how many funders do I have? I've got a Fundaga and then a regular funder. Oh, that'll never do. I want to buy free funders. Because they are very good. Uh, beep, 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 beep. What else do we want? We should get some more cures. Actually, we should get a bunch more cures. Like six of them. Because <laughs> cures are very important. We also should get more magnets. Again, all very, very important to have. Now, before we go equipping a new deck, I actually want to go up here because we have a boss fight here. And you act oh actually no we don't it's the fountain patio never mind all right well in this case we're gonna be making a couple of updates not too many i think mainly we'll equip a regular magnet and a regular funder but the rest of that stuff still needs to level up one thing that's important to note is that you will not level up and you don't get any cp when you defeat bosses. It's only common enemies. Oh boy, here's where the uh, little ice cream prizes are. If you can get all of them in a magnet and then follow it up with a funder, you're gonna get a lot of ingredients that way. And that's the main way of getting these ice cream ingredients. Dog on it. So like, if you can anticipate in advance when they're going to appear and set up your deck properly, you can get an insane amount of ice cream ingredients. And each of the guy, basically they can spawn in every single world, and each world that they can spawn in, they'll give you different ice cream ingredients. So... Yes, the ingredients we get here are going to be used to make ice cream later on. I'm not even joking. In case you couldn't tell by the what they're named. Yeah. Fire. Darn it, I keep forgetting that it's X to open chests in this game. Oh boy, a panacea that I'll never use. I love it. Panaceas could be useful if you didn't have to equip them in your command deck. Air Dash is gonna come in handy here because we gotta climb all these fountains. Oh boy. Alright, you know what? That's rude. Ouch. Beautiful. Oh boy, I believe our Kiraga made it to max level now. Yay! We get to keep second chance now. Now we can replace that with a regular cure. Alright, now what we want to do is use our max level air dodge to get across here. Gather. Thunder. Okay, just regular magnet doesn't pull people in from that far away. Forgot about that. Alright, buddy, you're asking for it. Terry almost jumped off a cliff. That would have been bad. 
Fleeting Crystal, yes. Those are the best kind. Thunder Surge. Oh, wow, we found a Thunder Surge. Okay, I'm not joking when I say Thunder Surge is probably the best command in the entire game. Uh, okay, now that we've got Magnet and Thunder leveled up, I'm going to equip Thunder Surge. Cloak yourself in electricity and rush the enemy, stunning foes on contact. Like, I'm literally not joking when I say this is the best command in the entire game. And it's so simple, and we're going to be using it a whole bunch, especially when we reach the uh, bonus bosses. Yeah. It's going to be uh, really, really nice to have. And then we'll replace this with... Uh, where is it? Another zero gravity. That sounds just fantastic. Now, Thunder Surge at this point will take a little bit of time to reload, but if we can get all the attack hastes, then it, re it recharges actually really quickly. And Thunder Surge might seem unassuming, but it's disgustingly good. So what does it do? You basically surround yourself in electricity and then dash forward. That's it. Doesn't sound very good, right? Here's the thing. Because it's thunder-based, it, that's really good. Uh, no boss in the entire game has thunder resistance, so... It's going to deal a good amount of damage. It hits multiple times, which means that even bosses with stupidly high defense are going to take a bunch of hit damage from it. Uh, what else? Uh, it comes out incredibly quickly. It stuns and staggers foes all throughout it while they, while it's hitting them. It has very little end lag. It, it allows you to enter some really good command styles later on in the game. And it makes you invincible when you're using it. At least once you get it to max level. So yeah, it's like the safest attack in the game. As you can see, like it dealt a pretty good amount of damage and stunned that guy. Despite it being only a regular old command, it's it's really, really good. And that's part of the reasons I got all those fire dashes. Because you can use fire dashes and meld them together with Thundaras to get Thunder Surge. And yes, that is really good. Oh boy, our Crawling Fire leveled up. I would love to get our Crawling Fire up to uh, max level in this world. That would be really, really good, actually. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, Terra, you gotta work on your jumping skills. Ooh, and that's another command I was waiting for, Esnua. Esnu was a very interesting command. Uh, it is, I believe, the only one of the only commands in the entire game that cannot level up. It is just a default command, and its base level is its final level. Uh, when you use it, recover all from all negative status effects. It's basically a panacea that you can use multiple times. By itself, not very good, but here's why I was waiting for it. What we can do is we can meld Esnua with one of those blocks that we leveled up to max level to get a new command renewal block, which will be really, really, really good. But first, we got to attach an ability to it. Now, this is going to make a type C one. And I do believe we will be attaching one of those fleeting crystals to it. And here we get renewal block with attack haste. And I'm going to show you why renewal block is so disgustingly good. So focus block will allow us to recover some of our focus gauge anytime we successfully block. Renewal block... If you press square to block head-on attacks, you'll recover HP if you're successful. Yes, that is disgustingly good. And we are equipping it right away, and we are probably never going to unequip it unless we're trying to level up the other block-based commands, just so we can never use them again. <laughs> yeah, uh, my advice for you, especially once you get to this world, get Renewal Block as soon as possible. That's another good uh, move, Blackout. By itself not good, but it, we can use it to meld a whole bunch of nice stuff. These are new enemies. These are mandrakes. They're kind of annoying. We'll deal with them soon. I don't like these blimp, these like vault guys though. But thankfully, Thunder Surge is there to help. All right. You know what? This mandrake needs to get, eat some Minecraft mod. Or that guy. That also works. Although, Mandrakes are nice because they can drop synthesis materials that I'm definitely looking for. They're called Abounding Crystals, and they, we can get some very useful abilities with those. This chest has a high potion in it. Oh, thank goodness. I needed that so badly. Okay. 
if we go to the next room over here, this will enter the boss fight. So, let's equip our deck accordingly. Definitely Thunder Surge. Uh, zero Gravity, we don't need to level that up anymore, so we're, we will replace that with a Thunder. Honestly, we don't need to keep leveling up the Ignite. Really not worth it. And our Cure is also at a high enough level that we can meld it now, so we'll replace it with a different Cure. Alright, here we go. Uh, before I... End Actually, no, wait, I can retry the boss, worst case scenario. So here we go. Boss time! Terra runs in. And conveniently, here are Ventus and Aqua. Together again! And here comes the boss. It's similar to the guard armor from the original game. Meet the Trinity armor. He's a pretty cool fight. And we get to fight him as a team. This is like, I think, the only fight in the entire game that you can use Trinity Limit properly in. <laughs> oh well. Defeat the Unversed, take out the arms and legs first. That this looks like he's ready for it. Aqua's just like, yeah, whatever. And Terra's like, I'm gonna kill you! Let's use a shot lock first. That's all a good amount of damage. Minecraft mod! Okay, when he does this... We gotta be ready, because uh, that can deal a lot of damage. Let me lock onto this. Crawling fire! Because we got uh, Aqua and Ventus in this fight, we can't use D-Links. Okay, so that's the head. And at this point, we can't deal any more damage to it, so we gotta take out this other part. Don't get in the way of that laser, otherwise we're taking massive damage. So let's use another shot lock, because it deals ridiculously high damage. See how we got some HP back when we blocked there? Thank you, Renewal Block. And for this, if we can get, like, right under him, that's great. And Firestorm just wrecks him. And here we go! Max HP increased, and we learned a new command style. Rock Breaker, which is a very interesting command style, as we're going to see. Very different from the others we have. And together, we beat the Trinity Armor. Good job, team! Got him. We make a good team. Sure do. Oh, yeah. I got you these tickets. For what? Lifetime passes to Disney Town. He okay. Said to... He said to take two grown ups. <laughs> you okay. Mean us? <laughs> Disney World Lifetime Listen Passes. Me, All right. We need to get you home. It's okay, Aqua. Trust me, that guy in the mask is history. I'll never badmouth Terra again. You saw the boy in the mask? Uh, y yes? Venetus. Ven, you let Aqua take you home. No way. I want to go with you guys. You can't. We have a dangerous task ahead of us. Uh, Terra, Ventus is more capable than you are in combat. No joke. <laughs> I don't want you to get hurt. And what is this dangerous task, Terra? It doesn't sound like what the Master told you to do. It might be a different route, but I'm fighting the darkness. Really? Because you already stole a girl's heart? And, uh, contemplated killing another girl. So, uh, I don't know about that. I'm not so sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been to the same worlds as you, and I've seen what you've done. You shouldn't put yourself so close to the darkness. You keep trusting all of the villains. Stop it. Listen to yourself, Aqua. 
Terra would never... You mean you've been spying on me? Is that what he said to do? The Master's orders? He was only... Aqua. I get it. Terra! Just stay put. I'm on my own now. All right? Terra, please, listen. The Master has no reason to distrust you, really. He was just worried. That whole scene seems really forced. Because like, that's supposed to be the scene where, like, their friendship falls apart. It's legit, it, it basically amounts to, like, wait, Aqua, the Master told you, asked you to keep an eye on me? Yeah, and he's basically just like, friendship over. And it's like, what? That seems, uh, very, uh, excessive and out of nowhere. But don't worry, guys. We got a lifetime pass to Disney Town, which we didn't ask for. Yay. Not really. Disney Town's the worst world in this game. <laughs> Master Xehanort is the only one I could still count on. What? <laughs> You've known him for like 30 minutes. And he's ridiculously shifty. And you, you canceled your friendship with your best friends over basically nothing. And you're just like, this obviously evil guy's the only one who's really worthy of my tr Like, gosh, Terra, you're so stupid. <laughs> you must be Terra. Oh, hey. It's that old coot. He won't stop asking for you. I came all the way out here to get you, just so we'd clam up. What do you mean? Ha! Do I have to spell it out? Xehanort, whatever he's called. You know, my prisoner. <laughs> You're apparently not a very good liar. Master Xehanort would never let himself be caught by a thug like you. As if. I got the old coot at my mercy. See for yourself. I'm holding him underneath the outer gardens. Better show up before I lose my patience. Ciao. Okay, that's There's not no suspicious. Way it's true. But no harm in looking. There, I think there probably is harm in looking if he's trying to get you to go down there. Just leave him. Master Zay, who cares about Master Zay and Orton? I sure don't. So yeah, for those uh, for those of you who have uh, followed the series, that definitely looked like Zigbar, didn't it? Except he uh, has both of his eyes and no scars. And he's probably not a nobody at this point. Ooh, nice deflection. Good job, Terra. Proud of you. Yeah, so the new command style we got, Rock Breaker. That's an interesting one. Um, why? That enemy is way too far off screen. Why? Are... There we go. Alright, so if we go into our reports. Or is it our reports? Stats, I think. Command styles, here we go. So, Critical Impact, Firestorm, and Diamond Dust. Those are pretty normal ones. As you can see, there's one star next to them. And the number of stars next to the command style basically indicates how easy it is to trigger them. So all three of these are pretty simple. Critical Impact, you use attack-based commands. When you build up your command gauge, you'll go into this one. If you use fire commands, you'll go into Firestorm. If you use ice commands, you go into Diamond Dust. Rock Breaker is interesting. So, for Rock Breaker, in order to enter this command style, you need to already be in a different command style first. One of these one-star ones. And then you need to use either edge-based attacks like Stun Edge, Mine attacks like Mine Shield, or Earth-based attacks like Brutal Blast. And... If you can do that while you're in one of these command styles, when the gauge fills, instead of performing their finisher, you'll go into the Rock Breaker command style. Now, because it's two stars, this command style will be far more powerful and dish out a lot more damage, but it's way harder to enter. So, there's a good chance that if you don't plan for it, you're never actually going to enter the Rock Breaker command style, but it can be worth uh, using properly. Anyhow, if we go to our finish commands... Oh, we're so close to getting the next Minecraft mod. I am so happy. That's just fantastic. In fact, we'll probably get it this world. Good job, Terra. And all our dealings are max level 2. Minecraft mod. Alright, I freaking hate these mandrakes. Drift. Thunder. 
All right. <laughs> Terra, stop walking onto this guy and walk onto the freaking Mandrake who's sniping us across the room. There we go. Yeah, look at how many times Thunder Surge hit that guy and how much damage he took in such a short amount of time. Another shimmer, another shimmering crystal. Of course, piglet. So now if we head over here to the reactor, back to where Trinity Armor was. Instead of backing out that way, there should be another route that we can take to exit. So that's the aqueduct that we just came from. Ah, yes, up there. Oh, actually, I don't think we can go up there. I think we can only access this room from that direction. Oh, well. We can defeat more Mandrakes. And I actually do want to defeat more Mandrakes because I want them to drop a Synthesis Crystal. Certain enemies can only drop certain Synthesis Crystals, and the Mandrake drops the Embounding Crystals, and I really want them. Dog on it. The problem with those guys with the uh, vault, like the valves in the back, is even if you shoot like something to like, fire into them, if you don't hit their valve, they will still go angry. So they're even worse than the fat guys from who are heartless, the large bodies slash fat bandits slash defenders. Oh no! Well, I sure hope Master Xehanort won't die while we're taking forever to reach him. All right. Do we still have man? Still nothing. Okay, fine. In that case, I will meld some of my funders together. I want more fundaras, and we can use fleeting crystal for magic haste, because that is definitely necessary. We'll meld another two funders together and use a shimmering crystal to get thunder boost. Yay. Gotta equip those bad boys right away. Oh yes we do. Oh man, Thunder Surge is only 700 money? That's actually great. It's pretty reasonable considering it's like the most busted command in the whole game. Blackout is 600? That's good. I like Blackout. I actually don't want to buy anything else right now though. But what I will do... Is you know what? I think it's time for us to play the Winnie the Pooh command board. Heck yes, I'm so excited. Alright, we got the Keyblade board, we got the Royal board, oh, Mystery boards, but over here, the Honeypot board. GP goal 5,000, our opponents are Poo and Tigger. It's a cinch to set up strategies on this basic board in the 100 Acre Wood. Yes, we will play on this board. This is actually apparently one of the later boards. So it's technically optional. You technically don't have to get this board if you just don't look at the book. No, we will not shuffle the play in order. I like going first. Alright. All right, let's see what our starting hand... <laughs> Only magic. Yep. That seems about right. Actually, I'm going to use two dice right away. Uh, I don't care about leveling up. Bind. All right, if we go this way, we land on that. And if we go this way, we land on that. We can also teleport across the board over here. I think we're gonna head to the left at first. There we go. We immediately get reimbursed with another magic command. All right, we got Blizzard, Blackout, Cure, Magnet, Mag Okay, let's put Blackout down because I do want right. to level that up so I can meld it. And, uh, and let me tell you what, you don't know what demoralize how demoralizing it is to just get your butt kicked by Winnie the Pooh and Tigger on here. Oh no, Tigger's actually right. using his cards as hands. Uh-oh. Tigger is definitely a lot smarter in this game than uh, Winnie the Pooh is. But both can still kick your butt. No! Everybody's heading over this way. This was supposed to be my route. Uh-oh. I do not like how many attack cards Tigger has. Because if Tigger decides to stun me, that's going to be bad. Oh. If I go up, I can show you what happens here. Honey Hunt! Grab the honey pots to collect GP! There's Rabbit. Hard at work. But oh no! A giant pumpkin came out of nowhere and destroyed his honey! That is just like Rabbit's luck for that to happen. Here we go! Here we, go. we obtained 530 GP from the honey pot. And what's gonna happen is a bunch of honey pots are gonna fall on the board. 
Some of them will be normal and some of them will have bees. If you land on the normal honeypots, you will get GP. And if you land on the ones with bees, then you will lose GP. It's an interesting board event. Why, thank you. Oh boy, Winnie the Pooh is uh, doing very well at the command board. <laughs> okay, Tigger is just on a die rolling spree, basically. That's what he's doing. That's all he really cares about. And he's getting some big rolls. I don't like this. I was going this way and... Oh, wow. That is not the way I thought he was going to go, but okay. Um, I will spend a cure that I've already leveled up in order to roll two dice. Oh, cool. I get a big roll, too. At this point, I only really have magic cards. Wonderful. All right, Winnie the Pooh, you're going to have to speed up a little bit if you want to compete. Oh, he just de Pooh decided to teleport over here. Oh, yes. Pooh, do you think I'm going to move this cube down? Because I'm not. <laughs> Tigger is spending cards like they're going out of style. Tigger just gets one for free. Great. Oh no, he got Sacrifice. Sacrifice is one of those panel bonus panels I would love to get. <laughs> yes, I'm doing two dice again, spending the magnet I've already leveled up. This sounds wonderful. Yes. We are going up. There we go. Oh, this is great. Because this means we're gonna get the GP bonus for rolling this cube to the left. Why, thank you. Winnie the Pooh mo moves across it, no problem. And Pooh decides he's going to invest in some property. Oh, yes. <laughs> Level up his panel over there. Alright, Tigger. Pooh and Tigger are the only 200 Ickerwood characters you can face off against in the command board. Phew! Ha! 477 GP is mine. This means Winnie the Pooh's going to have to go treacherously over the void. Oh, he's off to a bad start already. I'm sorry, Winnie the Pooh. Alright, and Tigger is about to finish making his way across the board. Oh, but he has to pay Pooh money. That's good. I feel bad for Pooh. Alright, we can level up a panel. Yeah, this is our only panel, so we've got a whole bunch of money, so I'm gonna invest six free six into it. There we go. I don't wanna spend all my money, but. No oh, bother. I keep losing money in the void. Tigger rolls a two. Hooray! Stupid Tigger. Alright. Normally I'm gonna go down, but honestly, if I can get a bonus panel from this, I might go to the... Alright, no. No bonus panel for me. I have to go this... I don't want to land on Tigger's Fane, but I need to get the last checkpoint, so... Taking over command panels. If you land on an opponent's panel, you can pay that opponent GP to take it over. These commands are also yours to keep as deck commands. So I could get a Binding Strike for a big chunk of money, but I'm going to say no to that. Binding Strikes are pretty easy to get. If it was a much better panel that Tigger had available, then I would have shelled out the money for it. Oh, bother. Because Pooh landed on the, the honey pot that has bees around it, he lost some GP. Hey, Tigger, how about you roll three? Okay, Tigger's resetting the honey hunt. Oh no! Tigger immediately had to drop money because he got unlucky with that. Bunch of honey pots all in a row. Oh my. Oh, this is just wonderful. I am so ever, I am ever so looking forward to this. All right, free dice. Let's use zero gravity and magnet. Okay. Because I am going to get all of my cards back. 
I have only bought one panel, but it's okay. I'm winning. Oh, wow. That is actually the worst combo you can possibly roll. Two ones and a two. Actually, no. Let's level up the cure. That was actually the worst possible roll, because I think if you get triple ones, you might at least get a... No, wait, that's Mario Party. That's the second worst roll you can get for free dice. That's ridiculous. Winnie the Pooh's just lugging around Fundaga? What the heck? How about getting a free, Tigger? Dunk on it, Tigger makes it back to the bank. Which means he can choose which direction to go next turn. Could be worse, he could have landed on the Pot and gotten GP. Nah, I'm gonna keep those. Darn it, I go. just miss all the honey pots. Alright, what do we have? Blizzard Ignite, Cure. Oh, yes, Fundara, please. I will put that down. Alright, Winnie the Pooh, you gotta move to the right as well. Why is Winnie the Pooh walking around all these high-level magic spells? Oh, it's, a such a, it's, a, it's just such a shame that I don't get to play in, in the combat in this game. I would kick serious butt. <laughs> Tigger gets another panel for free. Tigger low-key cheating at this game. Sacrifice? I want that one. Like, I would actually bu buy that panel out for sure. I'm gonna keep a hold of my attack command. Might need it in a bit. Well, that gave me a big GP boost. Actually, I think... All I have to do is do a quick loop back and I will win. Because I will, I'm gonna get GP at each of those checkpoints. Oh! And Winnie the Pooh pushed me ahead even more. Thank you, Winnie the Pooh. Alright, Tigger. Tigger is just spamming the two dice in Joker's Fortune over and over again. And every time he does Joker's Fortune, it's like, well... Is that the third time he has gotten that specific dice combo? Because good lord. Tigger's not beating me. Tigger's not beating me. Or a stunning Tigger. How you like this? There we go. And once I get phenomenally lucky, unlucky, I'm. <laughs> I am tempted, but I think if I do that, it's going to mean I won't be able to win the board, so... Oh, yes. oh dear, Winnie the Pooh. Tigger is stunned and cannot move. We are rolling free dice. Okay. And unless I get really unlucky on this roll... I will be making it home and winning the game. Just out of curiosity, if I go up. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Also, what are these? Zero Gravera, Fundara. Fire Surge is also pretty good. It's not as good as Thunder Surge, but it is still pretty good. All right. Oh, what's that, Tigger? Oh, you lost? Yes, you did. Winner! Aw, oh, yeah. Our cure is maxed out. Blackout got one level. And wow, that was not a very productive command board. That probably was not worth it. Must gotta admit, that really just didn't seem like it was worth it. Oh boy, a level up that I don't need. Oh, there we go. New finish command. We got Rising Rock number two. Which means we're gonna have to come up with a snappy name for it. All right, Crawly Fire and Zero Gravera have now leveled up. All right, Rising Rock 2, smite enemies with a spin attack and a jumping attack, after which boulders burst from the ground and knock foes into the air. Now that sounds pretty good, I must admit. So let's give this a different name, shall we? <laughs> we now have Barney My Pebbles. <laughs> well, we, 
I want to show off Barney my pebbles once, but then we got to switch over to a different. Uh, we're going to switch over back to the uh, need cash now so we can get some more uh, commands after that. Uh-oh. Actually, I think we're out of enemies to fight in this area. No, we're not. All right, get over here. Barney, my pebbles! <laughs> Whoa, that's a big pebble right there. <laughs> so there we go. However, yeah, we're switching now back to need cash now because we need to collect money and we need to take steps. Plus, we also do need cash now. I better make sure Master Xehanort is safe. No, I really don't want to. The guy gives me the creeps. Oh, Terra, darkness is good. I'm trustworthy, and your friends are terrible. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Master Xehanort. I'm so glad I have such an honest mentor. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> no, I will not let this go. All right. Go out here. Ooh, this place looks nice. Oh, also, I need to replace my commands that are now maxed out like crawling fire. Oh my gosh, yes! Everybody, is it time? I think it might be time. So the reason why I wanted to get the Fission Fyraga and the Crawling Fire is because you can melt the two of those into something truly spectacular. But first, I want to make sure that when I meld it, I'll be able to actually get something worthwhile out of it. So just taking a look-see. Oh, yes, I believe we will. All right. So here we go. So we got Crawling Fire and we got Fission Fyraga. We are going to meld the two of those together. Crawling Fire plus... Where are you? Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. There you are, Fission Fyraga. And we are going to attach a Soothing Crystal to this, and together, doom, we get Mega Flare. One of the best commands in the game, and we get it attached with the Damage Siphon ability, which is another one of those ridiculously powerful abilities, which I just can't wait to use. Let's also not just stop there, let's melt some Cures together as well, so we can get Cures. Um, ooh, another fleeting crystal? I would love that. Yes, Kira with magic haste. Now let's keep it up. Let's meld two more cures together to get Kira, and we attach a shimmering crystal so we can get Cure Boost. I like this. This is going very, very well. And what else can we do? Can we meld zero gravity with zero gravity? No, we can't because zero gravity is not a high enough level. For some reason, it needs to be the max level if you want to meld it with uh, zero gravity. Alright, uh, I think then that's it for now. However, we will replace this with the regular Zero Gravity, and now we will equip Mega Flare. Now first off, going over to the abilities. So Fire Boost is new, but that just increases the damage you deal with fire attacks. Cure Boost is new, increases the amount of HP you cover when you use Cure Commands. We got Attack Haste, we've got two Magic Hastes. And then down here... We've got Damage Siphon. Restores some of your Focus Gauge when you take damage. Every time we take damage now, we basically get some of our Focus Gauge back, which means we can use way more Shot Locks now. Now, Mega Flare takes up a whopping two slots. And look at that recharge time. This is with multiple Magic Hastes. It's still taking this long. Ridiculous. Super slow. And it takes up two slots. How could you possibly justify using this? Well, against bosses, it is useless. It basically deals no damage against bosses, but against common enemies, <laughs> uh, you remember uh, Mega Flare from Chain of Memories, the Game Boy Advance version? That was pretty good, right? It just kind of insta-killed everything on screen, right? Well, this is kind of like a better version of that. So once this is fully charged, uh, we're going to head on forward and um, just watch. Fire. Everything's dead. Immediately. And also, it lasts, it stays on screen for a long time, so that if you're up against a fight where there are, like, you'll defeat a wave of enemies, then a second wave pops up, it will defeat both of those waves. Just one Mega Flare. It's that busted. So, yeah. It is the best. I mentioned that Thunder Surge is the best command in the game, but Ma Mega Flare is the best command in the game when it comes to dealing with just common enemies. Nothing else really compares. I need cash now! Oh, yeah. And see, we got a bunch of money for that because we use need cash now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> also, if you hit something with Mega Flare, it pretty much will instantly put you into uh, the Firestorm command style. And hey, an enemy dropped a Confuse. That's nice. 
hate all these random enemies that just pop up out of nowhere. It's in this chest, a pulsing crystal. Nice, I like synthesis materials. Ooh, a fire in the chest. That's pretty nice. As you can see, we're just finding more powerful commands in chests now. I like that a lot. All right. Well, thanks to Mega Flare, uh, Boizaga is now max level. So is Renewal Block. I mean, we're going to keep Renewal Block equipped, but still. All right, here we go. Now you're never going to guess what happens. We're melding zero gravity with zero Gravara. I wonder what the heck this will make. Uh, let's use a Pulsing Crystal. For com oh, shoot. I think that was a waste. I'm pretty sure we already have both the combo F uh, boosts. Rats. Oh, well. Oh, let's get that second magic haste going. <laughs> oh, yes, we want that second magic haste going. And let's take our Mega Flare and use it on some new stuff. But first, treasures. Do we have every treasure in this world? No, we are missing two treasure chests, as a matter of fact. They might both be through here, but through here is the next boss fight. And we can't get those chests right away anyways, so... I'm gonna look through the rest of town and use Mega Flare to just wreck house. Also, I would love to show off the Rock Breaker command style, but I don't think we have any of the stuff that's needed to access that. So literally, all we have to do is keep entering this room, using Mega Flare on this guy. We take out, like, 20 enemies. They drop a huge amount of money for us, which will get us closer to a finish command. We get a bunch of CP. And, yeah, it's amazing. And we're... <laughs> Very, very easy. Also, Blackout. All it does is inflict enemies with blackness, which basically means that they can't really see. Doesn't really do anything to the enemies, but it's a status effect that can hit you, and it's really annoying when it does. Because it basically means that you can't see anything outside of your character's model, pretty much. Oh no, I missed Need Cash now. I NEED CASH NOW! <laughs> Give me all that. I'm getting a bunch of money for this, which is good. Because it's going to get to the point where you need some high-level commands in order to meld the top-level commands. And I don't really want to keep melding a bunch of commands over and over again to get the ingredients needed for those commands. So I just want to buy them from the shop. Oh, yes, another Fleeting Crystal. That's good. You can get Fleeting Crystals by doing this, which is great. Oh my gosh, we already unlocked the next uh, finish command. Surprise 1. So, I'll, as soon as we exit this command style, I'll show what Surprise 1's all about. It's basically a better version of Need Cash now. Well, kind of better. I'll show you. Okay, let's go over here. Press this. Press the button that appears, and they give you a big jackpot, along with, oftentimes, a synthesis material. Pretty nice. However, I think Surprise 1 is a bad name. We really need a better name. We have named this Bitcoin Investment, because when you use it, there's a chance you could get money, but a chance that you couldn't. <laughs> Who can tell? So, this is it. The legendary Bitcoin Investment. And while we could continue using Need Cash now, or the Minecraft mod, in order to get this next level here, I think for the time being, because we're getting so much cash by just doing this over and over again, we're going to continue up with this. Going over here, Blackout is now max level. That is fantastic. We are going to meld Blackout with a Fire Dash. Now that's pretty interesting. Why would we be doing that? I mean, inflicting people with a blind status effect and then a dash command with fire to it? Why would you do that? Well, it's quite simple, ladies and gentlemen. Because it creates a very fabulous new command. Now first, what do we want to attach to it? Why, I think... It would be great if we attached a Wellspring Crystal, but we don't have one. So instead, we'll use a Fleeting Crystal. And we get Dark Haze, which gives us Magic Haste for some reason. Even though Dark Haze is, Dark Haze is a attack command. Mm hmm. That's kind of weird. Oh well, though. Oh, and we can melt... Oh, yes, this is great. We can melt Fire Dash with Fundara, and this will get us a... <laughs> this will give us Thunder Surge, I already remember that. But what type is this? Thunder Surge, Fire Dash plus Fundara. This is type D. And type D. Okay, cool. Fleeting Crystal here, which will give us an attack haste on that Thunder Surge. Then we will meld our final Fire Dash with our final Fundara to get another Thunder Surge, because yes, these are that disgustingly overpowered. And then attached to that. 
I guess we'll go Hungry Crystal, which gives us HP Prize Plus. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst, so I'm happy with that. Let's equip Dark Haze immediately, and that Thunder Surge that will give us an Attack Haste. Oh, I should also mention what what the heck Dark Haze even does. Cloak yourself in darkness and then charge at faraway enemies. The attack has a chance of dooming them, leaving them with five seconds to live. It's a pretty fun power. And more importantly, Dark Haze uh, is an important ingredient in a lot of top-level commands. Bitcoin investment! Good, I'm glad it paid off. But well, sure enough, that inflicted doom... Two, one. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, hey, the zero graphic level reach level three. This is why I wanted to get Mega Flare as soon as possible because it is just disgustingly overpowered. We got a whole bunch of money, so while we're at the shop, I want to buy some stuff. I want to buy another air slide, which may sound weird, and I also want to buy another two blocks actually, because there are two more block-based commands that we will need to use this for. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that should be it for now. But in the meantime, we are going to level up our new air slide, and we are going to level up our new one of our new blocks. And the reason for that is there is yet another command melding thing that we can do with our air slide that we leveled up to max level. Air slide max level plus Blizzaga. This sounds weird, Erdy. What are you doing here? An air slide and Blazaga. What? That doesn't make sense. Well, it actually does. This creates a command of type H, which means oh, I wish we had an abounding crystal. I really wish we had an abounding crystal. I guess out of these we'll go suing crystal. This gives us ice slide, which is a weird command. So instead of this air slide, we're leveling up ice slide. Press square in midair to cloak yourself in ice and gain a burst of speed. Enemies take damage on contact. Basically, it's an air dash that also doubles as an attack. It's a very weak attack. It doesn't give you as many invincibility frames at max level as the regular air slide does. And it also doesn't necessarily take you as far. But it is a unique command, and I want to start leveling it up. So, there. I just so I also want to point out how we are definitely massively overleveled right now. Like no question, we are massively overleveled. We are not supposed to be this powerful. Oh boy, Bitcoin investment. Ooh, big payoff. I wonder how bad that. <laughs> I wonder how badly that will age. I also want to point out that remember that Terra is the physical fighter, so his. Mega Flare is not even as powerful as Ventus's or especially Aqua's Mega Flare, so I just want to keep out. This is like the worst incarnation of Mega Flare in the game, and it's still this disgustingly overpowered. Here we go, Magnega, Magnega with Air Combo Plus. That's what we were looking for. I should show off the Ice Slide. As you can see, I just killed that guy only by continually ice dodging into him. Granted, it was slow and annoying and nowhere near as effective as just doing regular attacks, but you can do it. Alright, so here's where we stand. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff to max level. Mega Flare is still not max level. We haven't gotten a new finish command, but we have leveled up a whole bunch of stuff. At this point, I think it's time to face the boss. He should be pretty simple at this point. We do not want Mega Flare for the boss, because Mega Flare uh, is useless against bosses. They take basically no damage from it. Which is good. They shouldn't be taking damage from that. Oh, uh, ooh. One thing we should do. Remember that Poison Edge we had ages ago? Well, we can meld that now. We're going to meld it with a Cura to get Slot Edge and attach a Fleeting Crystal to it. And we get Slot Edge with Magic Haste? Not Attack Haste, really. Slot Edge is a very weird command, but we're gonna equip that bad boy. Press triangle at the right times to perform free jumping attacks and cause symbols to appear. Get free of the same to win prizes. Yeah, it's a weird one. For sure. And what else? Also, we got a whole bunch of enemies to drop blizzards, so we never really have to buy blizzards again. Although, we probably will at some point. I can just tell. And what else can we meld with the Kira? We have the other Kira. Oh, we can't meld the other Kira with anything right now. We can meld the Magna and the Magnera together, though. And we don't have a Wellspring Crystal with that. Cool. 
then in that case, we go for Hungry Crystal. Magne Magnega with Treasure Magnet. Beautiful. Fire out, we want to meld with... Is it stop? There was an important thing we wanted to meld the Fyra with in order to get a very, very nice new command. Oh, we want to meld it with zero gravity. Okay. Well, we don't actually have a zero gravity up to snuff right now, but we can change that in a real hurry. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we've, uh, we've collected quite a bit of money. And again, all of this is totally optional, and if it's your first time playing... Don't bother with all of this grinding. Just have fun. Experiment with the me with the melding yourself, and it should be just an enjoyable experience. Because I know grinding is not the most enjoyable of experiences for most people. I enjoy it in limited bursts, but I feel like birth by sleep is just so much grinding if you want to get everything. Which yes, I do. There we go. That's what we were waiting for. Now I do want to keep leveling it up all the way to level 3 because I'm not sure if we can meld it with uh... Right, 7 cherry and cherry. I don't think we got a prize for that. I want to make sure the zero gravity is max level so that way we can guarantee meld it with... There we go! Hey! There's the rock breaker command style. We had to use slot edge in order to uh, enter it from firestorm. But we could have entered it from any of those level 1 command styles. And as you can see, it's taken a longer time to get build up the command gauge when we're in the Rock Breaker command style. There we go, Mega Flare's level 5, which I think is the final level for it, but maybe not. Here we go, Rock Breaker. Ooh! Take that. Dark Haze's meets just max level, so is Thunder Surge. Okay, no, Mega Flare still has an, at least one more level to go. Wonderful. All right, now we meld the fire uh, with the zero gravity. Again, wish we had a wellspring crystal. We don't. Oh, let's go shimmering crystal. Mind shield with fire boost. Mind shield. We have seen something similar when we were using the aqua D link, which, which was the mind square ability. Mind shield set a row of explosive magical traps which stun enemies which when tripped. Yes, that sounds very nice. We can have that. What else? We can continue leveling up. Uh, no. Again, remember that because we're going up against a boss, we actually uh, don't... We're not going to be leveling this stuff up. So it's really just what do we think is going to be useful for the boss. And, um, Thunder Surge. But I'm not going to... I don't want the Thunder Surge to just completely destroy the boss. That wouldn't be very fun. So... Let's have a second cure available. Just in case. Um... Let's get some blizz blizzards then, as well. And we've got leveled up all of our blocks, so let's equip Renewal Block again. And we can keep Ice Slide as well. It's not great, but there we go. Alright. So that was a huge amount of grinding. Let's go off and face the boss. At this point, he should be laughably easy with the equipment that we have. But he is one of those bosses where if you're not prepared for him, he will kick your butt. A lot. But Renewal Block makes the fight just in general a whole lot easier. And conveniently... You get Esnua in this world. Alright, Terra. Oh, yep, there's one of the chests that we couldn't get until now. This is definitely not a trap. How did you know to look up there? The old coot certainly knows how to take punishment. Just like I know how to deal it out. You monster! What are you after? That thing right there. It's called the Keyblade, isn't it? Yep. Seems like these days everybody's got one of those. <laughs> Back in my day, there was only one Keyblade and one Keyblade Master, Sora. But then the game developers decided, you know, everyone should just have a keyblade. Even Grandpa there. When I nabbed him, he told me all about it. What a weapon like that can do. How could I not want one? Well, you'll find they're picky about their owners. Huh. 
If I heard the old guy right, you're what they call Keyblade Master Material. So if I defeat you, that makes me the real Keyslinger. If you catch my drift. Not the most polite way to go about it. But what can you do? Uh, uh, one more step and the coup goes boom. You think I'm gonna fight fair? As if. That key's too powerful for us to go mano a mano. <laughs> for a Keyblade Master, you're not very... What's the word? Good. <laughs> what are you doing, Tara? Fight! But, Master, you'll... Never mind me! You must fight! You can't let this ruffian win! Think of your master, Ericus! The shame he and your fellow pupils would be forced to bear! Use the Keyblade! <laughs> Trust me! You're right! <sighs> so much for the bluff. Here we go, boss of Radiant Garden. Defeat the mystery man, Brag. Yep, Zigbar was known as Brag back in the day. So similar to the Zigbar fight, he pops up here first. We want to redirect his stuff back at him. Oh, uh, Terra, you got such bad movement. Honestly, the key to this fight is to just keep redirecting his stuff back at him. Uh oh. Ouch. That didn't deal nearly as much damage as I thought. Wow, that's not a lot of stuff. Alright, let's just beat him up. Ugh. Ventus, save me! Alright, here we go. This is the fight that will teach you how to block if you don't know how to do it already. This fight's honestly just hard because uh, Terra's air movement is really bad. And Brake spends pretty much all this time in the air. This is where Renewal Block is a lifesaver. Oh wait, what am I doing? I have Shot Locks. There we go! <laughs> Deck Capacity Increased! Yeah, we were over-leveled, and he was still tricky, so... Yeah, Brag is no joke. Yikes! Looks like that's how Zigbar lost his eye and got the scars, huh? Terra just destroyed him. His power. Well done, Terra. How the heck did you get down here? You were up at the top. I jumped down. You're an old man. Uh. Anyways, good job using the darkness. <laughs> you have taken yet another step forward. But I was consumed by anger, hatred. That was the power of darkness. Darkness that you channeled. No. I succumbed to it. Just like when I stole Princess Aurora's Heart of Light. I can never return home now. I'm a failure. Then don't. You could be my pupil. Uh, no. <laughs> 
Master Arrakis, you see, is so afraid of darkness that he too has succumbed. Not to darkness, but to light. Uh-huh. It shines so bright, he forgets that light begets darkness. And Aqua and Ventus, their light shine too bright. It is only natural that they cast shadows on your heart. Erechus is such a fool. Light and darkness, they are a balance. One that must always be maintained. Uh-huh. That's why I always use darkness, Terra. You are the one who shows the true mark of mastery. But he refuses to see it. And am I not the most trustworthy man you've ever met? I mean, just look at my outfit. And my hand gestures. because he fears you. Join me. You and I can do the world's much greater good. By wielding light and darkness in equal shares. No. Mr. <laughs> yes, I'm so kind. <laughs> See more worlds. Seek out the darkness that upsets the balance. Find Vanitas. And bring an end to him. He's going grand with Master the hand gestures. Terra. <laughs> <laughs> Why are your eyes golden? Uh, don't ask. Obtained Dark Volley. That's a new shot log. And we get Xehanort's report number two. An excerpt from Xehanort's writings. Yep, the reports are back. And I'm going to try to read them in order now instead of all at once. Hey, boyo. Take me with you. I can't do that, Ben. Uh, why not? I just... When I really need you, Vin, I know you'll be there. That's not a reason. <laughs> well, why wouldn't I? You're my friend. Yeah. You're right. Thanks, Vin. I guess he only canceled his friendship with Aqua. Mew! And so Terra left. Hey, you old coot! You said I wouldn't get hurt. I didn't sign up to be collateral damage. No way, as if. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Just, just, just put that down. You still need me. You still need me to do something, right? And all I'm asking is that you hold up your end of the bargain. <sighs> I mean, what's a little scratch on my face, huh? All things considered. I'm just lucky he didn't steal my heart like Princess whatever it was. <laughs> that would've ruined my week for sure. <laughs> Unlikely. A powerful light still lives inside of Terra. You see, people like him, they don't have the power to steal hearts. So wait, you mean... He's not the one who stole her heart? Hmm. Apparently, either Maleficent or Xehanort was the one who controlled him to doing that. And yet, Terra still trusts him. Great. Oh boy, now we get the, to the next trio of worlds, and wait till you see what those are. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh boy. I just can't wait for these worlds. We have, in order, Disney Town, Combat Level 5. Worst world in the game. We've got Olympus Coliseum, because of course it's not a Kingdom Hearts game if Olympus Coliseum's not in it. It's combat level 5 as well, and then we got Deep Space. 
Uh-huh. Combat level 6. We'll be saving that for later. Now, before we end, there's a couple of fiends. What do we gotta do? We gotta go back to Radiant Garden. There are still two treasures that we need. Oh, hey, look. A portal. No, thanks. The Purification Facility. That's a weird name. But there are two chests here that we need to grab. This one contains a Mega Potion. Oh, hooray. Uh, count me in for who cares. But then this one contains... A Chaos Crystal. Not to be confused with the Chaos Emerald. Chaos Crystal is a very weird synthesis material. Let's take a look. We also didn't get a new Keyblade for the world. But that's just how it happens sometimes. Magic recipe, yay, yeah. Chaos Crystal. Used when melding commands, it attaches a wide variety of abilities. Basically, you use the Chaos Crystal and, like, it'll give you a random ability. I don't really like it. I'd rather be able to choose which ability I get. And then, oh, other things. We can go to reports now. For, uh, the secret reports. Xehanort's report number two. Our master instructed us to don armor while traveling between worlds so that we might shield ourselves from the darkness. But there, in the lanes between, I could feel the force of it. The power. And from then on, I forwent my armor's protection. I had been told the darkness would devour me, but what terrors could it possibly hold so long as I found the strength to control it? The world is vast, and the worlds within the greater world uncountable. Like little islands, they dot a great ocean between, which keeps them ignorant of each other, uncorrupted. Each world had its own order. Unlike us, they could not know of the world in its entirety, and we were never to enlighten them. Okay. So the purpose of the armor is not protection from, like, attacks, but protection from the corruptive power of darkness. And Xehanort's like, pfft, only wusses use that. Oh boy. Oh yeah, item boost. Increases the effectiveness of recovery item commands. Yeah, that's great. We now have all the magic hastes once we master this, so then we'll just need the attack hastes. Attack hastes are... Magic hastes are more important. The attack hastes, especially as Terra, are also very important, though. And we still got several missing commands, but that's okay. Now, just in preparation for next time, I'm gonna re-equip my Mega Flare. We now have the maximum uh, size command deck, which is fantastic. Uh, let's equip Magnaga again. And that should be good. Oh, and one other thing. Oop. Almost forgot. We're equipping Dark Volley. Launch Dark Projectiles at targets. Has a high lock-on count. This can be a very, very powerful uh, shot lock. It's basically everything that Terra shouldn't be doing. You're done. It just shoots pure darkness at enemies. It's like, I'm fighting the darkness. Let me use my dark shot locks. This makes perfect sense. It's okay, Xehanort told me it was good. And I trust that man with anything. He's gonna officiate my wedding. Alright, uh, that is gonna do it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. We have cleared the Radiant Garden 100% outside of the ticker- uh, the tickers. <laughs> the- more like the tickers, the stickers. Next time, we go to Worst World Disney Town. This world is actual hot garbage. It's one of those mini-game worlds like uh, 100 Acre Wood or Kingdom Hearts 2 Atlantica. But, um, well, it is better than Kingdom Hearts 2 Atlantica, but it's still, like, not great. Although Terra's version of it is definitely the best version of it, so... We'll be heading there, and that'll uh, be interesting. Look forward to that next time. Thanks for watching, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.